for the last couple of days, I've been trying to figure out in particular one thing and one thing only. What the hell is this? No, seriously, ask yourself this question as a person that has been consistently watching this channel, or at least been keeping up with this channel for a good chunk of time. What is the main thing of Jason 5's 4's channel that you could tell me about? What is the main thing that you take away from anything? What is the identity of this channel? I guarantee you, you're gonna get like 5,000 different options. Oh, it's the lollicon guy that wants to clap Eerie's cheeks. Oh yeah, it's the guy that did the Skullgirls drama stuff that we covered on the channel not too long ago. Oh, this is the one guy that talked mad shit about Jaden for some damn reason and I'm about to kick his ass. To be perfectly honest, there's tons and tons and tons of different content I've made for the last four and a half years. And to be perfectly honest with you, it's a lot. It is definitely a lot of things that we have been through. And that's kind of the issue there's been so many things that we talked about whether it's things of the gaming side of the world and how the industry is whether it's certain anime things at certain times whether it's just talking about how we just down bad for certain characters whether it's just random meme videos etc 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 you get the point it's a variety ass channel on the one hand what you can look at it is be like oh that's cool so it's not him just doing the same damn thing over and over again it's him just talking about other different things that honestly is really you know of interest and you know maybe we can have some more insight on it and that's cool that's what i like to do and at the very beginning of this channel that's what i wanted to do for the longest time and as time kind of continues on i'm probably not going to get out of that mindset at all even though it's sort of the main reason of why i wanted to bring this video up today i talk about so many different things i brought so many different topics in media to the point it's kind of hard to pin down what actually is Jason Fox 4. It's not necessarily something that you just answer easy. It's like if I were to compare this channel to any piece of media, it would have to be Archie Sonic. Archie Sonic is hella across the board, just everything it wants to be and do whatever the hell it wanted to. When it was running at the time, especially before, you know, Ian Flynn came through and, you know, basically try to save the damn Archie Sonic universe. When it comes down to it, though, for what it was, it was just something that was across the board doing everything it really wanted to. And while they had some good ideas of the characters and the story and things it wanted to do, it still obviously had glaring issues that was not necessarily good overall through the entirety of the comics run and if you look at this channel there's a lot of good ideas that's here there's a lot of good content that is made but it's definitely bogged down due to all that variety ness and all that start stuff that doesn't necessarily connect to you know the central focus of what this channel is supposed to be a better and perfect example of this channel would be sonic when he hit his limit in that very same series when eggman was talking mad shit talking about like damn you out here being like you can do anything that you want but to be honest with you you really just sat down and hit your damn limit and then Sonic out here like, yeah, well F you, I'll show you my limit, hits the man, and ends up still not necessarily doing the damage that he needed to to save the day. And that's kind of what it feels like over here. Over here doing anything I really want to, and it feels like because I'm limitless of what I want to do, it just really comes off as being somewhat limited somehow. My point is when it comes to this entire video, is essentially that I feel like we are on the cusp of getting something with this channel. I feel like this channel can absolutely do what everybody believe it can do, especially with the people back then that said it has the potential to do something and become a big channel like a lot of people believe it should be. But obviously again, the one big glaring issue that we have on this channel is not necessarily someone smoking crack in the corner, but it's just definitely what is Jason Lax for? Well, it's the type of channel that likes to tell stories from time to time, try to tell a consistent story of, two, of certain characters and certain other characters from different IPs, just to see what we can necessarily do with it, what if, what if a battle against light and darkness in some shape and form. What is Jason Lax for? Well, it's also the type of channel that likes to drop a lot of memes sometimes and, you know, make fun of different things that he just finds absolutely hilarious. What is Jason Fox for? Well, he also likes to throw down and talk about some waifus that he just find hot for some damn reason. Go as far as to make different videos of different characters that absolutely needs it and deserve some type of attention. What is Jason Fox for? Well, he's also the type of person that likes to just talk about the truth of things, talk about his ideas, his philosophy, his ideology, and everything that comes down to the drama that relates to Twitter or just basically anything that he just doesn't like and just kind of goes hand 
with it when it comes down to it and at the time. Or just kind of talk about the things that he does like and really go ham about that as well. There's so many things that this channel does and so many things that this channel is connected to. But when it comes down to one specific thing, it's not necessarily, you know, anything that you can just list down and nail down, really. That would catch a lot of people's attention in the wider scope of the audience. To be perfectly honest, doing lewd content, while it's fun to do it, it's not necessarily something that's gonna gather a lot of people. And even if it does, to be honest, is it really going to gather a lot of people to the point where, you know, it could make some life-changing differences, getting some sponsors and things of the sort? Not necessarily. And if you want me to be real with you, just take a look at the different types of content creators that's out there. Look at the VTubers that's just out there. There's just plenty of things like an Iron Mouse or like, you know, other VTubers that's out there. They're mainly just doing the one thing or the things that VTubers normally do. Do just chatting streams, do just gaming streams, and all that sort of stuff that VTubers commonly do. They never really stretch out the boundaries of what they are because when it comes down to things, being consistent in one thing is honestly what the algorithm wants and what the system of the whole entire platform thrives upon. It's the reason why drama is such a consistent topic to talk about to get, you know, big time views off of mainly because it's something that is just consistent and will always be kind of a thing and it's unfortunate but it is the truth same thing with recent streamer war winner maximilian dude man literally has been playing fighting games for a long ass time and that's what he's mainly known for yeah he does play final fantasy 7 and sometimes some other games but mainly fighting games is like where his bread and butter lies you can't necessarily deny that if you know anything about this man it's literally just fighting game stuff in general that's the reason why i was watching his channel because of his fighting game content and when he does talk about other things and other games in particular and honestly while i do like some of his other content sometimes more than the fighting game content at times i know for a fact that that's what max is gonna stay with and that's where his passion lies and that's just how things is for him and when i even personally think about it with the older channels i used to watch and don't really watch anymore the reason why I used to watch those channels is because of that very same consistency. Like an anime man who used to do a lot of anime videos but now does everything else and I don't care anymore. But you get the whole point of what's going on. You have to be consistent at one thing. I was even watching one reaction channel that was talking about how they wanted to do so many different ideas and honestly had some really good ones but they stuck with reaction because that's what worked. That's what the algorithm wants to see. And when the algorithm sees you trying to break out of stuff like that, it's when things go haywire. It's when things don't go right and when the viewership don't hits well. And it just goes on and on and on until you stay back at your lane and consistent with the one thing that ends up helping you work everything else essentially. And when you really look at the title content creator, it doesn't really feel much like creation is being made, right? Because you're just really providing content in one thing, in one thing in particular, and there's nothing you can do to really change that unless you're willing to sacrifice your viewership, your money, and everything else about your channel just to try something different. But for me, I've never been consistent in anything. To be honest, it's the reason why back in january i was trying to go as hard as i could when it comes to Genshin, but i ended up losing that flame mainly because a lot of the drama that kind of happened around that time was really tiring me the hell out and i just didn't care as well as you know not necessarily really caring for this lantern right to be honest because it just didn't feel that interesting this time around and really i haven't really been playing it because i'm playing Re persona 3 reload thanks to my brother for getting the game but when it comes down to it though it's just not necessarily fun for me to talk about Genshin at the moment even though I put 400 hours into the game and I could easily do something with Genshin but still I just haven't really figured out if that's what I want to do and the thing is I know I really shouldn't necessarily keep the channel going the way it's going with how many different things that we talk about but at the very same time, it's like, what else can I provide? Honestly, what will be something that will be entertaining for not just you, but for me to create as content, honestly? There is definitely some things I would like to do, and there's definitely some videos I enjoyed making. Like the Ayane video that we did recently, where we talked about how she's an instigating ass hater. Which, that was fun! I enjoyed creating that video. It was funny as all hell. But when it comes down to it, though, is that something that I can consistently do? Not necessarily because I just don't have that many interests in different pieces of media and shows of that sort when it comes down to it. There's nothing really calling my name to do something with that. 
outside of one particular character but we'll say that when that time comes honestly but i guess my biggest problem with giving up so much creative freedom is that i had to surrender and sacrifice really a lot of the things that make this channel what it is it's just a lot that you may not necessarily be thinking about when it comes to content creation especially if you're a content creator yourself and you want to be known for doing all this sort of stuff and do all this sort of stuff but at the end of the day it's not really helping anything to grow your channel and what i think i finally realized is that if you're not going to be consistent at least in one thing or be known for the one thing that people will see you for definitely you're gonna have a hard ass time on the channel which probably is the reason why it took me four and a half years to even just address this now what is that thing that i want to figure out i don't know what is it that i want to actually make that will be good for you guys as well don't necessarily know i'm open to suggestions in the comments i definitely want to know what ideas that you have down there let me know your suggestions in the comments and let me know what future things would you want to see as well as what the one thing that you want to see consistently be done to this channel in some shape and form so you know let me know in the comments below but hopefully I, you did enjoy this video if you did be sure to like share subscribe hit the bell notification way out also follow me on the socials and if you on this channel go find cash app is available as well until next time sign off have a blessed day